in the modern world, for many people, there seems to be nothing to believe in. Uh, what might be the consequences for us as a, a species as, or as a country, Scotland, if we cannot find things to believe in? I think it's important for people to have ideals to reach for and to have, you know, a belief that we can make things better, whether that's through politics or um, just by improving the conditions in which people live, giving people enough to eat, that kind of thing. So at one level there are genuinely good things that you can strive for and believe in uh, about improving the lot of humans. Uh, but also, you know, in, in the bigger picture about saying, well, we have to look after the planet, you know, we have to look after the environment because if we don't then not only are we doomed ourselves but we're probably going to you know cause uh, total havoc to to you know the, the, the environment and the other creatures and animals and and and, and, uh, and, and everything else that exists here so i think there's a responsibility there for human beings to think big in that sense um, and it used to be the case i think that many many human beings thought big by by thinking religion. Now, personally, I think that doesn't do it for me anymore, but it still does it for lots and lots of people. Um, but I think that we need to begin as human beings to think uh, in maybe less, a little bit less about God and a little bit more about what we can do to act responsibly um, for you know, human beings and the race, but also for the planet and, uh, and the world that we live in, because we undoubtedly have more power to do it harm other species that, that inhabits this world, but we also have the power to do it good. Um, but that requires maybe a big change in the way we think about what the world is for, whether it's other oh, right just just to exploit it, or whether we also have to put stuff back. Well, one of the things that you know, people would try and do good things because you know, they feel it's a duty to put upon them as God, or they have religious feelings, but in a way we don't have that kind of Without things to believe in, would we perhaps become a little bit like Gideon, where you know, charity is done for a little while, but it's maybe become a bit money and then it sort of fades away? And, you know, no one's, you know, kind of, you know, Gideon, he doesn't feel a sense of duty, can't motivate himself to do. You know, Gideon, Gideon, Gideon doesn't have children, and I wonder if, if he had children, if that would have made him focus more on. I think it, you know, one of the things that not everybody had, but people who have children and grandchildren and so on, they can see the next generations going on before them and being around when they're no longer here. And that sometimes, I think, enables people to have a belief in, in, in acting unselfishly for future generations. Um, so that's maybe something that, that, that helps. Um, but, uh, yeah. You do need some kind of ideal, um, but I think again, ideals change, beliefs change, and we have to be aware that you know what fits the 20th century or the 21st century may not fit the 23rd century or the 25th century, assuming that we have the 